today, Satan. Not today, Nick. Not today, ankles. We don't have it. Questions. Where's my cocktail? Where? That's my opinion. All right. You ruined it. You ruined it. You did. Uh, what the f is this? The lies. There you the go. Lies. There you go. <laughs> you are the biggest bully in Hollywood, and everyone knows it. Hello everyone and before we start it is time to give a shout out to our partners of this video and are the beautiful people of Rose Forever. They did this amazing bouquet of flowers with special oils that will make the roses last up to a year. This is the perfect gift for you, your mom, your wife, your husband, whatever you want to say, I'm sorry, I love you, I miss you, say it with these beautiful flowers. So if you want to get your bouquet right now, go to the link on the description below and use my discount code ANDY25 and you will get $25 off your order. Again, this is the perfect gift for anyone. So whatever you want to say, say it with roses from Rose Forever. Hello, Beret Troop. Welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Beret Hills, and welcome to another piece of tea of the day on this Tuesday. Girl, we haven't really talked about the Erica Jane show in a while, right? Like, remember that time when the Erica Jane show was here, like, every single day and we were kind of like devouring everything that was happening related to the uh erica jane show well we're getting some new information from both of them um erica jane and tom gerardi so i want to start with the erica jane situation because our favorite lawyer in the world mr ronald richards just posed something about erica jane that I found kind of like interesting, you know? Uh, it's related to the earrings and the whole situation. Uh, let me see if I can find the whole thing here. Tweets, yeah. He's very good on, on the Twitter. Okay, so the first one is that Win Resorts, uh, he put it like this. He says, Win Resorts, unlike Erica Jane, return $110,000 of the $115,000 that was gambled away from Girardi and Kissy. Did Wynn know it was receiving improper funds at the time they were lost? No, they didn't. So, but they returned it. Say concept will apply to Erica Jane. So, you already know what that means, you know, like if they return it, Erica Jane have to return it as well. On another post he about Erica Jane, he says, here is Erica Girardi's response brief trying to address the mootness issue of her appeal on the earrings. She argues she will only seek monetary damages against the state and there is 18 million in cash for her to go after. She doesn't undress, she turned over a different pair than on the invoice why she didn't move to stop the sale or why the buyer's rights are not impaired who is not a party to the appeal erica's brief is carefully drafted tap dancing hope, hoping the judge doesn't dismiss her appeal the trustee gets one last reply full document blah 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 Girl, I'm telling you that Erica Jane is going to be fighting this whole situation no matter what. And apparently now she wants to go, uh, uh, you know, after the state or like some kind of like compensation or something like like what, what this girl is doing. Honestly, it's to it's on another level. And also we have another update, but this time it is about Tom Girardi. And it says that Tom Girardi gave one million dollars in payment gift to top state bar investigator corruption proof fine fi fines okay this bar los angeles lawyer tom girardi funnel more than one million dollars in gift and payments to an investigator and the at the state bar of california and the investigator's wife a usc accounting professor according to a report released on friday the long-anticipated report, the result of a year-and-a-half investigation by a law firm working for the state bar governing board, 
detail how Girardi cultivated and sustained an, ex an extensive network of connections at all levels of the agency tasked with regulating California's legal profession and described corruption beyond what is publicly known. The investigator Tom Layton, Layton and his wife Rose received more than $600,000 in payments from Girardi, and Layton enjoyed the use of a credit card paid for by Girardi's law firm, amongst other perks, according to the report. The law firm investigation also documents how numerous state bar officials with close ties to Girardi killed complaints that came into the agency or improperly closed cases about the lawyer's alleged misconduct. Girl, at least eight complaints were were quashed by state bar employees whose ties to the wealthy attorney taint their decisions to close the case without any public discipline. According to the report by the law firm Halping May Ibarra Gelberg LLP, in addition, two agency prosecutors who advocated taking actions against Girardi's law license were fired under questionable circumstances by top executives close to the lawyer, according to the report. Despite more than 100 lawsuits against the lawyer and 155 complaints over the decades, the state bar did not take action against him until March of 2021. By then, his law firm had collapsed and federal judge had already referred him for criminal investigation related to his misappropriation of millions of dollars from clients. Uh-huh. None of the officials alleged to have inappropriate relationship with Girardi still work for the state bar, according to the agency. Layton was fired in 2015, but later sued the agency for wrongful termination and received a $400,000 settlement. He did not respond to messages seeking comments. Bob Baker, an attorney who has represented Layton and at least one other former State Bar employee during the investigation, said Friday that he had not seen the law firm's report as for comments about the report findings, Baker said, I don't give a damn before ending the call. Mm -mm -mm. Rose Layton told investigators that the payments were for unspecified services related to the financial aspects of a case. According to the report, the investigators said that Rose Layton had no documentation supporting the services she claimed to provide. From 2013 to 2020, Layton charged an average of $45,000 per year on the American Express car he had, which was paid for by Girardi's law firm. The report said, Girardi also guaranteed a $150,000 bank loan to Layton in 2006 while he worked at the state bar, and the law firm made payments on the loans for several years. In addition, Girardi law firm leased two BMWs and a Cadillac Escalade to Layton while he worked at the state bar and afterwards. Of the cash and values Girardi directed to the Laytons, the report said that these payments and gifts were never properly disclosed. Eileen Daftian, the State Vars General Counsel, said she could not comment on whether any of the report's findings had been referred to federal or local law enforcement for criminal investigation. Be assured that we have and will continue to take appropriate actions in response to the evidence present, Daftian said. Other State Bar employees and members of the agency governing board also secretly took in gift and other perks from Girardi, the investigator found. The reporter revealed a 
the report reveal a previously not well-known relationship between Girardi and a state bar prosecutor, Moray Greenberg, who worked at the agency for more than 30 years. A Girardi Kissy employee recalled Greenberg visiting the law firm Wilshire Boulevard frequently for closed-door meetings with the powerful attorney. Greenberg, who oversaw the intake department for complaints for years, was involved in closing at least six complaints against Girardi. In one case, Greenberg instructed a colleague to make it go away according to the report. When investigators attempt to question Greenberg in January, he invoked his Fifth Amendment right against self-incrimination, the only witness to do so. Greenberg retired in 2019 and moved to Arizona. He could not be rich for comment. Girl, I'm telling you, everyone was involved in this. The amount of heads that are going to roll eventually and the ones that don't right now, believe me, Miss Karma will be coming for you. All right, guys, so that's it from the Erica Jane show right now. Let me know what you guys think on the comments below about all of these messes. And if you want to get all the tea related to the Real Housewife of Beverly Hills or any other Bravo show or pop culture, make sure to subscribe, 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 hit the notification bell, and I'll see you around. See ya. Bye.